here we are. This is our SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler CR Edition. Now, I decided to go with this because Tower Hobbies had a coupon and I figured I did the math and I was basically getting the light bar for like $30. So I figured, hey, why not? If I'm going to sell the body and paint the clear one anyway, which I have over here in this box. No, it's not the kit, it's just the body in there. So I've got that. And I figured since I'm gonna paint it anyway, and I don't that means I really don't have to like the body, which no offense to Axial, I just am not a huge fan of this white this white body here. So I figured you know, I didn't want to mess with a kit and have to spend money on all my own electronics and everything like that. So I figured, hey, you know what? I'm just going to buy the CR body so I have some of the things on it. Here we go. Uh, it looks nice. Looks beautiful. Get the boring stuff out of the way first. What is it? Huh. This is new. This I did not know this actually was going to happen. The CR actually comes with a tactic radio. I figured it would come with a, you know, the normal axial but I don't know if this is something new for Axial or if it's just a um, thing for this CR edition. But hey, it's a Tactics, Tactics Servo, which is, uh, it almost looks like it's actually a, a three-way servo because you get these two little buttons here. But, you know, honestly, it actually feels a little bit chintzy and a little bit cheap, but, you know, it just kind of feels... Like it's kind of just cheaply built. At least it only takes four batteries. It's 2.4. But I figured I'd get an Axial. I got a Tactic. So it's not the nicest, but I guess that'll get me going. And actually maybe if I... This toggle right here I think actually might be good. Because in the long run I actually might be able to run um, a winch off of here. So that's that. So let's, all right, so here's a bunch of, oh sweet, I get extra, um, I'm not going to go through this bag, parts bag, I'll do that later, but I guess I get extra drive shafts, some um, extra light bars, some little tool bag, and that's actually nice that you get some uh, spare links, because I am planning on this winter making a snow plow, and I believe I will need those to get that project done. And then, of course, you get you get all your stickers and your manuals. I'm not going to go through that either because that's boring. But those stickers and stuff in the body, my plan is to sell on eBay and get that. Sell on eBay, get that all taken care of, and then basically trade that in for the body I've already bought. But this thing actually, oh wow, those tires are actually really soft. And these are the BF Goodrich crawler tires, which are actually a 40 compound, whereas the Trepador tires are a 35. So they're a little bit harder, but they actually look like they're, uh, they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and get this all taken care of and out of its little clips and stuff. So, got it all out of its boxes and packages and zip ties, like they always do. They, whenever they package these, they're kind of crazy with them. But as I said before, I'm hopefully gonna sell this body to 
um, replace the ridiculous amount of money that I spent for a clear plastic body. And so I bought the clear plastic body, the hard top, with all the cage and stickers and everything like that. So I can paint that, get that all. I'm hopefully going to do orange. I'm thinking of doing orange for that. So that could turn out pretty cool. Let's get this unplugged. So I'm going to set this aside because when I sell this, I want to make sure I can say it's new and unused. So I'll set that aside. Be careful with that. So until I get it actually done and the body painted I think I'll probably run it without a body for a while It'll look kind of dorky but I really don't I want to sell sell this body for the as most money as I can so I'm gonna sell that new but it took me a while to actually appreciate these crawler via crawler tires um, because I thought they were actually gonna be pretty hard because I heard they aren't they aren't great for crawling they're good for like mud and stuff though but I think that's mostly what I'll be doing. I think these actually look pretty good for the uh, snow and they actually do look okay. So I'm going to peel this sticker off. And no, I'm gonna leave that on. But anyway, back to this radio. I was kind of surprised to get a tactic. Um, I didn't know it came with a tactic, but the good thing is I think, and I, I'm like 99% sure that this is a three channel radio and it's got I think this is called like a toggle switch which is going to be great for when I do the three racing winch that I'm going to mount mount up here so that would be great I was going to get another separate wireless a separate wireless um, winch controller but if I can take it off of right here that'll save me 25 bucks and it'll just make it a lot easier so and I'd mainly like to use it for like a snow plow and stuff like that. But other than that, this truck is pretty cool. It's got a 27 turn motor. It's a little motor. I thought it'd be bigger, but... And then, well, I guess these are plastic drive shafts. I thought they were metal. But they actually... You know, I, I might be wrong. I'll have to see what the box says. But it actually, okay. Oh, so I see. I think um, I might be wrong, but this is the right one. Um, let's look for link. These are, oh sweet, so these are so these actually feel, the drive shafts feel like plastic, but they actually are metal. But what I think they are is I think they're metal and it feels like they're dipped in either like a plastic or a rubber. So that will be amazing because I've got um, MIP steel shafts on um, my Mini Revo and my um, Traxxas Slash. And I, I love the, the durability of those those drive shafts but there's one thing I really don't like and I do quite a bit of snow running um, there's a couple snow running vids on my on my channel but um, I do quite a bit of snow running and you know even I, I dry them off when I'm done but they're still rusting and it's just it kind of um, it just kind of ruins the look a little bit it doesn't really doesn't really affect the the actual performance of it but um, other than that I like this truck I'm going to leave this poison spider body or er, bumper stock um, just because I actually really like these these bumpers. I don't see much of a reason to go with these. Um, but I'm going to put tail lights in, um, put driving lights, or I guess you could call them fog lights. And then I'll do headlights um, and like blinkers and stuff. I don't think I'm going to hook up the computer where it, you know, when you turn and stuff, it it actually turns on your blinkers. I don't think I'm going to do that because really if you think about it, if you're out at an off-road park or 
you know, you're trailing, you're really not going to be using your blinkers every time you turn. Um, it's a tactic servo, which I, uh, I didn't know until a couple of nights ago that it's actually a metal gear. So everybody, you know, everybody kind of thinks, oh, this servo is just cheap, chintzy. And I don't know, I, I can't be too biased on it because I've never run it. But it's Metal Gear, so, I mean, that, if it, Metal Gear is always good, so, um, that should, that should hold up well. Even plastic gears, I've only stripped, um, a plastic servo once on my, on my Summit. Um, but I'm gonna waterproof this truck, that's one thing. Come on, Axial, put your stuff together and end up, just go with waterproof electronics, because you know everybody ends up having either to, um, waterproof them themselves, or they just they just don't like nobody likes a non-waterproof truck because really all these scale competitions and all these scalers really do end up seeing water snow and mud and that's kind of what they're built for so they really should be should be waterproofed but no i, th I think it's pretty cool that spare tire actually comes off and these these racing wheels are actually what are they called? Can't read them, but those, they actually look too bad. I, I was a little bit worried about these BF crawler tires, BFG crawler tires, and these um, wheels, but you know, actually, I really like them in person. I I really, really wanted to go with the um, really wanted to go with the Trepidors, but after reading some reviews on how these are better in the snow and mud, I figured you know that's really mainly what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be doing. Um, you know, I live in Minnesota, so there's a lot of woods and there's not many actual, like, rocks and crawling parks where, like, there would be in Arizona or something like that. Um, but I'm excited to see this light bucket plugged in. It's really big. These, uh, dat or the hood lights. So, when this is all done, I'm going to keep the, the light bucket, but when this is all done, I should have a lot of lights. I mean, I'll have three up here. I'll have two headlights, two fog lights. So I'll have, I'll have like seven lights. Um, so that's what I'm, what I'm a little bit worried about is I'm going to run this on a 2S, um, 5,000 mAh battery. And I'm hoping that with all the LEDs turned on with a winch plugged in, um, that I, that I won't, um, struggle with not enough power or I've noticed with these light bars, I think there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to say there's, yeah, it actually looks like there's 10, um, 10 light bucket or 10 LEDs, excuse me. And I'm hoping that with all 10 LEDs, um, I want to see just a whole light bar. I don't want to see the, the weak little one to, you know, where you can actually count, count the, count the lights. Um, but if I have issues with that, I'll probably end up, I'll probably end up just uh, running those on a separate battery. Um, I would love to put the crawl. Uh, I think they're called King Off. Yeah, King Off Road um, aluminum shocks on here because I love the body roll that they give. Um, but they're forty-five bucks for two, so I don't really have the money laying around for. $90 worth of shocks, but that might come in at a later upgrade. Um, this transmission looks pretty good. It looks, you know, this is what I like about this truck, and I've wanted an SEXN for so long um, with the metal chassis, and they're just, they're light, they're simple, and there's there's really not much to them, so I, I really want to just kind of have fun with this truck, do my own upgrades, do my own scale accessories that I've wanted to do so this this i think is going to be a really fun build um i wish that these were real or they just left the aluminum shocks on i, I was tempted to go with the kit um mainly for all the mainly for all the aluminum upgrades aluminum links aluminum steering um shocks but i i really didn't want to put all that money because i knew it'd be a lot more expensive um, putting putting on all the electronics. So that's why that's why I decided to go with an RTR and then buy a clear Rubicon um, body with a hard top, get all that. That way then I don't have to mess around with um, trying to remove the paint off of the headlights. I really didn't want to try and mess with that because I didn't want it to 
end up looking bad and then be like, oh, well, what do I do with my, what do I do with the body now? So this will be a this will be a big project once I uh, once I get up this painted, I will be very very glad that that's done because that is definitely going to be the hardest part of the build. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, just comment down below. And I think this is going to be a pretty cool, pretty cool build. I've got a lot of plans for this truck. Um, I will probably end up upgrading just the, um, to the aluminum steering link, just because I think it looks a lot more scale rather than this plastic, other than um, DJ Medic said the advantage to these, just the plastic, is they're flexible. So if you get in a bind or something like that, you have, you can see all that, all that flex in there. So that's, that kind of helps um, relieve the pressure off your seat hubs. Uh, DJ Medic said if you uh, haven't, if, if you upgrade this, you're probably going to have to upgrade your C-hubs to aluminum just because those will end up probably breaking. Here's another thing. I just realized this, but even the, um, the axles, and I'll have to take this apart. I'll take this apart when I waterproof it because I'm going to probably pack this full of marine grease, but this is steel, but it's not just like steel. It's almost like it's dipped or coated in kind of a plasticky paint, which is which is good because hopefully that'll keep keep it a little little cleaner and not as much rust on it. Um, I might actually take the battery and do the relocating um, to the front so I have more front over the front. Um, other than I can see that when you're kind of going over bumps since it's a not a chassis mounted servo and it's an actual on the axle you can see that it when it rides it goes up so i'm thinking if if you're kind of bouncing like that you might actual you might lose your articulation if you've got um if you've got your your plate down down underneath so i'm really excited to do this build um, feel free to ask any questions and then don't forget to comment and subscribe uh, for more future builds. I don't think I'm going to do a painting video, but if you really want to see um, how I'm going to paint it, uh, just leave a comment down below on, um, on painting. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.